it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be learning how to crochet this gorgeous Snapdragon crochet slouch hat. This is a beautiful hat made with some really pretty colors, and we're gonna be using this silky kind of shiny yarn that makes this hat just drape so beautifully. You can check out more photos on the blog. So we're gonna learn how to make this hat starting with the stripes. So we're gonna make a long rectangle, seam it together, add a brim onto this and then cinch the top at the end and weave in ends, etc. So there are a bunch of places to find this pattern. Today, we're gonna go through the pattern um, in its entirety on the channel here. Um, and you can see it and I see all the stitches being done. You can also find the full written pattern for free on the blog, the link is down below. And you can also get the ad-free PDF. I get lots of questions about those, but you can get the ad-free PDF either in my Ravelry shop or my Etsy shop. And the links are down below for those as well. You can also become a member of the Fiberflux Gold Pattern Club on Patreon. And for $5 a month, you get access to the month's PDFs um, that I share uh, for my patterns. So a bunch of ways to um, get this pattern and all the links are below. So let's get started. Now the finished hat is approximately nine inches from the very top to the bottom edge. It has an 18 inch circumference and then our little brim here along the bottom is about an inch. Now I'm going to show you throughout the video all the different ways you can customize this either with your color choices, you can make the circumference wider or uh, narrower, you can change the brim and you can also make it uh, longer like if you want your hat to have a little bit more slouch and you can make it shorter if you want it to have more of a fitted look. So we're going to customize this and learn how to do that as well. But those are the finished dimensions of the one shown here. Okay, so let's get started. For this project, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a tape measure will be super helpful, especially if you wanna make your hat a little less slouchy or more slouchy. We're gonna learn how to kind of customize the fit of it later on. Um, and also if you need to measure the cir circumference of your head before you begin. And then we're gonna be using a five millimeter H crochet hook for this project. Um, and then let's talk about this yarn. I have this yarn here. It's called True Boo by Lion Brand Yarn. It's soft and silky. It has like a glossy kind of satin look. It's a really fun yarn for a slouch hat, I think. Um, and some pretty colors I picked out. Now, we made a uh, matching scarf. I made a matching scarf for this. So um, we're not gonna use all the yarn for the hat. We're gonna use some of the yarn for the scarf and some of the yarn for the hat. I'm gonna talk about the yardage in just a minute for the hat specifically, but I did want to go through some of the information about the yarn and the colors we'll be using. Okay, so I picked four colors of the True Boo. I, these are the same four colors I'm using for the scarf as well. Uh, as a side note, the link to the matching scarf can be found below. So um, we have um, here, uh, this is called Mulberry. This is Navy celery and sky. So these are just some really pretty colors I like together. Just a nice like happy little palette. And um, like I said, we're not gonna be using the full ball of yarn for our hat. And um, so we're using four balls of this for both the hat and the scarf, okay? And in just a sec, I'll give you some um, yardage for the, the hat as well. Okay, so like I mentioned before, I used um, four balls of this yarn, but um, I didn't use the full amount for the hat. We also have a matching scarf. So um, if you wanna just make the hat though, it's 230 yards of that um, yarn that we used in a striping pattern. Um, we used four full balls of the yarn for both the hat and the scarf. But if you wanna just make the hat, um, you know, uh, feel free, it's 230 yards just for the hat. Now, the, the accompanying scarf can be found at the link below as well if you wanna make the scarf too. Okay, I got my first color, which is the mulberry, or whatever color you wanna use, and we're ready to go. We're gonna do some stripes and then swap later. So our starting chain, is 41. Now, just to explain a little bit about how we're gonna construct this hat, is we're gonna do a long rectangle strip, make it um, long enough to comfortably wrap around the head, then we're gonna seam it, and then we're gonna add a brim to the bottom in any of the colors you want, and then we're gonna cinch the top. Super easy construction, and we're going to work some vertical striping for our hat, okay? So our starting chain is 41. That is a multiple of four plus one. If you're not familiar with the concept of multiples, all that means is when you're doing your starting chain, you go four plus four plus four and so forth until um, it's the height that you want to be your hat 
and then add one more chain onto that. So a multiple four plus one, and we're gonna do 41 chains. If you want your hat to be taller and or more slouchy, you wanna make your um, starting chain longer. If you want it to be less slouchy, make your chain shorter, um, staying within that multiple of four plus one, okay? So 41 chains. What we're gonna do, let me just come in a tiny bit closer so you can see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by putting a slip knot on our hook. So wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop and tighten. And then we're just gonna do, um, like I said, 41 chains. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40, and 41. So here is our starting chain. And again, this is gonna be about the size of the height of the hat. So if you want a little more slouch or less slouch, you can adjust accordingly. Okay, so let's move on to row one. This is a very simple stitch that we're gonna learn. We're gonna do row one, and then we're gonna learn row two. And row two is the row you repeat for the rest of the piece, okay? So for row one, we're gonna work three double crochets in the fifth chain from the hook. So this loop here does not count. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. So in that fifth chain from the hook, work three double crochet. To make a double crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into that chain, and bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. And that's the double crochet. So that was one double crochet. We're gonna work a second double crochet in that same chain and a third double crochet in that same chain. Then what we wanna do is skip three chains. So one, two, three, and in the next chain, we're gonna work uh, a single crochet into the next chain, okay? So to make a single crochet, insert the hook into that chain, bring up a loop. You'll have two loops on the hook this time. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops, okay? Then we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and then we're gonna work three double crochet into the same chain. So in that same chain where we work that single crochet, work three double crochet. So one, two, and three, just like that. And then we're just gonna kind of repeat this sequence all the way across, okay? So once again, skip three chains. So one, two, three, and in the next chain, work a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Then work three double crochets into the same chain, okay? So one, two, and three, just like that. Okay, then repeat. All right, next we're gonna skip three chains. One, two, three, and in the next chain, work a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and then in that same chain, work three double crochet. So one, two, and three, and then repeat. Skip three chains, and in the next chain, work a single crochet, and chain three. One, two, three, and three double crochet in the same chain. So one, two, and three. All right, so you should, uh, you should see some peaks that we're creating here with some of these kind of like sideways boxes, okay? So keep going across, skip three chains, and in the next chain, single crochet, chain three. One, two, three, and three double crochet in the same chain. So one, two, and three and repeat, skip three chains, one, two, three, single crochet in the next chain, and chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochet, one, two, 
and three. All right, getting towards the end here, skip three chains, one, two, three, and in the next chain, single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochet, one, two, and three. Skip three chains, one, two, three, and in the chain after that, single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochet, one, two, and three. All right, now what we're gonna do, we have four chains left. So what we'll do to finish this up is skip three chains, one, two, three, and in that last chain, we're just gonna do a double crochet, okay? So just work a double crochet into that last chain and our row, whoops, I dropped my loop, and our row is complete, okay? All right, so here is the beginnings, and this again will be the height of our piece. And you can see it's stretchy, it has a nice, uh, texture to it. So we're going to st uh, stick with our same color and we're going to move on and learn row two next. So row two is actually a little bit easier because we don't need to count chains. And again, like I mentioned, row two is the row you repeat for the whole thing. Okay, so for row two, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to turn our work. Then what we're gonna do is work three double crochets into that first chain. Remember we did a chain four just now? That first chain that we worked, we're gonna work um, three double crochets into that first chain, okay? So one, two, and three. Just like that. Then we're gonna work a single crochet into the first chain three space. So we have to kind of look at the anatomy here of our stitches. So remember we did those three double crochets here, and then this was a, a, a chain three, and it created a space. You can kind of see it out the side here. So in that space right here, we're gonna work a single crochet into that space. And then what we'll do is we'll work a chain three. One, two, three, and then in the same space, we're gonna work three double crochet. So one, two, whoops, and three, okay? If you've ever worked the corner to corner stitch, um, you this might seem a little bit familiar. It's kind of a modified version, okay? So it's gonna sort of look like this, okay? Then hop over, we're gonna be repeating this all the way across. So hop over to your next point. If you look at the point of your next piece here, and you can see that chain on the side and that space, see that space right there at that point. We're gonna work a single crochet into that space, that chain three space, then chain three. One, two, three, and then three double crochet in that same space. So one, two, and three, just like that, okay? So we're sort of mimicking what we did down here. We're creating points again, and they sort of kind of fit together, okay? Go to that next chain three space, single crochet. We're just gonna do the same thing all the way across. We'll do it together though. So single crochet in the chain three space, and then chain three. One, two, three, and then three double crochet in that same space. So one, two, and three. All right, single crochet in that next chain three space. Remember it's at the top of that point, that space that's all along the side there. One, two, three, and three double crochet in that same space. One, two, and three, just like that. You can kind of see how they're all sort of fitting in together. Okay, hop over to the next space, single crochet, then chain three. One, two, three, and three double crochet in that space. One, 
2, and 3. Hop over to the next point, that chain 3 space. Work a single crochet right in there and chain 3. 1, 2, 3, and 3 double crochet in the same space. 1, 2, and 3, just like that. Single crochet in the next space, that chain 3 space, and chain 3. 1, 2, 3, and 3 double crochet in the same space. 1, 2, and 3. All right. Next, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, and chain 3. 1, 2, 3 and three double crochet in that same space. One, two, and three. Okay, when you get to the end and there's just that one uh, set of three double crochets at the end and a turning chain, that last turning chain space, you're just gonna work a single crochet into that turning chain space to finish off the row, okay? So row two is complete. You can already see our stitches are starting to shape up. And again, this is going to be the height of our hat. So most of the height of our hat, because we are going to add a little um, edge uh, to the bottom of it. Once we seam it and create a tube, we'll add a brim to our hat, okay? So you're just going to be repeating row two over and over and over again until um, your piece can, your, your strip rather, can fit. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So you're just going to be repeating over and over and over until your strip can fit comfortably around the head. You want it to fit uh, with a little bit of snug snugness, but not tight. And you don't want it to be so loose that it's slipping off either. Okay. So um, till it can wrap comfortably around the head without um, any snugness. Now it is going to be a slouch hat, so you don't want it to be um, too snug. Okay. So let's keep repeating row two over and over and over again until your piece is as long as it can be uh, to fit comfortably around the head. Okay. Now I just want to show you one more thing before we depart. When you're ready to switch colors, um, grab any color you like here. Now I got really lucky with my first ball of yarn. I was able to do the center pull. Um, now this isn't too bad. Not, not uh, too much yarn came out of it. Um, and it's pretty silky, so it doesn't, it doesn't really snag on itself. You can kind of undo the little clumps pretty easily. Um, now I'm going to do more rows of the small berry color, but I am just going to do this to show you real quick. When you're ready to switch colors, just cut the yarn, fasten off, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through. And then you're going to take your new color and you're going to go back into that same stitch that you just worked. Okay. So go back into that stitch. We're going to hook the new yarn right on and then just tie it on. Now, however long you want to stick with the same color is going to determine how wide your stripes are. So I'm actually going to make my mulberry a little bit longer, but I'm going to pull this out in a minute and go back. But um, I just wanted to show you how to do it. So I tied the new yarn on, tie the new yarn on, and then go back into that same stitch that you just tied it on to. Grab your new color bring up a loop and you're ready to go. You're ready to do your um, chain four and turn and repeat row two. Okay. So that's how you change color. Super easy. So keep repeating row two. And when we rejoin, we're going to have a strip of crochet that can wrap comfortably around the head. And then we're going to seam it up and start on the super easy brim. Okay. So keep repeating row two. Okay. I went ahead and worked the rows, repeating the colors. So I did each color twice and five rows of each color. So I did five rows of this pink color, five rows of the green, five rows of the blue, five rows of the gray. And then I repeated the whole thing again. Okay. So I have about 19 inches from start to finish here. Okay. Now, that's going to determine their circumference. So if that fits comfortably around your head, then you can replicate that. But if you need to keep going and make it a little bit bigger of a circumference um, or stop a little sooner for um, a smaller circumference, you know, uh, that's OK, too. Either way, um, do what you need to do. And what we're going to do now is we're going to um, grab um, the color that you want to make your brim and we're going to seam this closed and um, create a tube 
add the brim and then we'll cinch the top of the hat to create the slouch, okay? Uh, or the crown rather. So what we wanna do first is we wanna kind of prep our piece for the brim. So pick an edge that you would like to add the brim to. Either edge is totally fine, it's up to you. And we're gonna weave the ends in for that. Um, we'll worry about these other ends up top when we go to cinch the top of it, okay? So we're gonna just grab our tapestry needle and we're gonna just weave in. Now make sure with your tails that you stay in the same color um, as your tail. So I'm just kind of staying in this gray area with this gray tail that I'm weaving in. And we're just gonna repeat all um, this, or this for all the tails, okay? And then when you go and weave them in, you can just give it a snip. So just repeat that for each tail across one edge here. We're just gonna worry about one edge so far. And then again, for this blue, we're gonna stay in the blue section with our tail so it will be nice and hidden. And then, um, I didn't mention this before, but I like to come in the opposite direction with my tail and it'll help lock it into place. This is a really soft and silky yarn, so it kind of likes to move around a little bit. So um, just make sure that you kind of lock those tails into place, okay? So just repeat for your other tails, and then we're gonna start seaming next. Okay, I wove in all the ends on this edge. Again, we're not gonna worry about these right now. We'll deal with those later. Um, grab your tapestry needle, your scissors, and then choose the color that you would like for your brim. And we're also just gonna use the same color to do our seam. I happen to have this color at one end, so it'll blend. Um, just a scrap piece of yarn is fine. Now our fabric that we've created with our crochet stitches is reversible, but you'll want to figure out which side you want to be the outside, okay? So once you've decided that, then you'll turn it to the side that's um, gonna be facing inward, okay? So figure out which side you want, and then what you'll do is you're gonna fold the edges in because we're gonna create, like I said, a tube, okay, for our hat. All right, and again, this is pretty stretchy and slouchy. So what we wanna do is we're gonna seam it first and then start to create our brim. So let's cut a piece of yarn that's about, I don't know, 18 inches or so. 18, let's say 18 to 24 inches, and then thread it with your needle. And I think it's easiest sometimes to just lay it flat down on the table. Um, it'll allow you to see everything really well. So go in through those first stitches at the top and you're just gonna do a whip stitch. If you're not uh, familiar with a whip stitch, all it is is kind of like a spiral through your work. It's a pretty invisible seam. Um, and you're gonna pull the yarn almost all the way through until you have a little tail here, and then you're just gonna tie it. Okay, so just tie that right down with a strong knot. And then we're just gonna work our way down here, okay? Now you can see that, you know, because we have a starting edge with like a more, um, sturdy chain and then this top part with stitches you can see there's some scallops but we're going to make it blend okay so go ahead and sandwich those edges together and again this is going to be the inside of the hat okay so it's we're actually seaming this inside out so make sure when you pick a side that the side that you like best is facing inward okay so we're just going to go in sandwich these together and we're going to like hold them together both layers and we'll just work our seam all the way across, okay? So just go into both stitches on both layers. And when you get a couple inches in, um, it's probably a good idea to um, just peek. So let's do um, a couple of inches here with our seam. And what we'll do is we'll give it a little peek just to make sure we're on the right track here with our seam. We don't want it to look bad. and you may as well check it early on instead of um, waiting to get to the end, okay? So just seam it across, and then let's give it a little peek. So just flip it over and make sure it looks how you want it to look, okay? I think it's pretty, um, the seam is pretty camouflage. You don't want it to look too apparent, okay? So I'm gonna seam across, and then when we get towards the end, I'll show you how to finish up, and we'll start working on our hat brim. Okay, just coming up to the end here, and what I like to do at the end is just kind of reinforce those stitches a little bit. So go up to the end, maybe put, instead of coming up to the very edge, come off to the edge a little bit, like kind of go around the side. See how I'm like going around the side a little bit? And when you get to that last stitch, pull it almost all the way through and then send it through 
that last loop, that little loop that you have left. And then I like to, because it's something that you wear, you want to make sure you reinforce it pretty good. And then just do that once or twice more. Okay. Now, while your needle is still threaded, go ahead and weave that end in. It's already on the needle. Just do it right then and there. Save yourself a little bit of time. And we're going to stick with this um, yarn, this pink yarn. I keep calling it pink, but the actual name is Mulberry. So we're going to stick with this yarn. And then just straighten everything out. Straighten your seam out. Now we're going to turn it right side out. Double check your seam. It looks pretty good. Pretty invisible. And again, we're not going to worry about these top tails, but let's straighten out our hat. And as you can see, these stitches are nice and stretchy. This um, yarn makes a really pretty slouch hat. Okay, so we have our tube. You can see. And now our bottom edge that we're working with here. We're going to grab our hook and our yarn and we're going to turn it so that our hat is upside down. Okay. So what I would do is kind of start back here where you did your seam. We're going to start in the back and we're going to go along the edge here and I'm going to show you exactly where to put everything. So just locate um, a space right at the, the stripe here where you did your seam and we're going to hook the yarn on. Let me just zoom in so you can see a little bit better. Bring the new yarn through and we're just going to tie it on. We're going to work our brim into some half double crochet stitches. Those are um, not as short as a single crochet so we can kind of um, zip through our brim pretty quickly but um, they're going to give us some sturdiness to our brim and a little bit more height than a single crochet. Okay okay so we have our new color and we're ready to go. So what we want to do is take our hook go back into that same stitch bring up a new loop of the color and chain two because we're going to be working half double crochets all the way around. Now normally um, we would have some stitches to work into but because we're working into the sides here we're not going to have um, like defined stitches to work into. Okay so what we want to do is to create some evenly spaced half double crochets all around. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to and at the end I'm going to give you a count just so you have it but we're going to work a half double crochet um, evenly spaced all the way around and I'm going to get you started and we're going to kind of work on our own and I'm going to give you a count at the end so you can kind of keep track of it as you go along. Okay so Sometimes you might have something laying on its side and let me just zoom in so you can see a little bit better. Sometimes you may have something laying on its side like this and it's a big open hole. Now you don't want to work a half double crochet into that because you're going to have a big hole in your hat and you don't want that. So you might need to go up under that down. So let me just show you. You might need to go up under that into the next stitch that's below that and and um, work into that. Otherwise it's going to um, pull that open and you'll have an, a hole and you don't want that. Okay. So also I wanted to show you before we continue is how to do a half double crochet if you're not familiar. To make a half double crochet stitch wrap the yarn around the hook insert it into the place where you want to have your half double crochet. Wrap the yarn around the hook and bring up a loop. You'll have three loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn around the hook bring it through all three loops. Okay. So what we're going to do is just I'm going to do some with you and then I'll give you a count when we're done. So we're just going to work half double crochets all the way around but just make sure they're um, as evenly spaced as possible. Okay so find the next place you can work your stitch into. Work a half double crochet. We're just doing half double crochets all the way around. The name of the game here is we want it to look nice and neat and we're setting up some stitches um, to work into for the next round. Okay. So when we go to work in our, our next round, it'll be nice and even and actually a lot easier to work into because they're going to be more defined looking stitches. Okay. So, okay. Here's a spot that I wanted to point out. See how it's a turning chain that we did when we worked rows this way. Uh, we had a turning chain. So th that's a big open space. We don't want to work into that. So what we'll do is we'll go and work down underneath of it. So it's not going to be as open. Okay. So just work your half double crochet in there work your half double crochet in the next space. Okay and we're just going to be doing this all the way around just making sure that they're nice and evenly spaced. 
try not to work into an opening that's too big because we don't want to have holes in our hat. We want it to be a hat that's um, decorative holes only, not um, gaping holes that don't make any sense, okay? So I'm going to keep continuing around um, working evenly all the way around with my stitches, nice and um, neatly spaced out. And what we'll do is you can even use your stripes as a guideline. Maybe you do um, eight per stripe or, or however many you think. But we just want to work nice and neat, evenly spaced half double crochets all the way around, okay? So I'm going to go around and do that. And then what we're going to do when we rejoin is I'm going to give you Okay, see, I worked into a, see, that's a little bit too big of a space. So let's go up under that big area. There we go. Um, but like I said, I'm going to um, work around. And then when we rejoin, I'm going to give you a number of stitches that I've added to mine to create the brim. We're just setting up the brim right now um, and trying to get it nice and neat and even looking. So what um, we're going to do when we come back is I'm going to give you a count of how many stitches that um, I ended up adding to mine that were evenly spaced out. And um, we're going to start adding to the brim to give it a little bit more um, of a solid look. Okay. And, and using this color, now I use the mulberry. You can use any color from your stripes that you like. If you did self-striping, you can make your brim self-striped as well. But um, you know, this one color kind of ties it all together. Uh, now again, see we have a, a turning chain on its side, so we'll go up under that, just so we don't have a big gaping hole in our work. Okay, and we're just doing this all the way around. So keep working, and when we get towards the end of the round, I'm gonna give you some stitch counts for what we got, and um, we're gonna start adding to our brim. Okay, just coming up to the end of the round, again, we're just working our evenly spaced half double crochets. And now remember that chain two we did at the beginning of the round? We're just gonna go in that with our hook at the topmost chain of that chain two and insert your hook. We're gonna work a slip stitch to close the round. So insert your hook, bring up a loop. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook, okay? Okay, so we're ready to move on to the next round. Before we do though, I just wanted to point out, I did 60 stitches around, okay? Um, I went back and counted them and it was 60 stitches, okay? So if you have the same circumference as me, um, I remember I did a 19 inch long strip before seaming, I did 60 stitches around the top here. However, um, however big yours is and however much stretch yours has, you might need a different number, but I did 60, just so you know. So we're gonna chain two for round two of our brim. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around, okay? So go into that very first stitch that you did, work a half double crochet into that, work a half double crochet into the next stitch, and the next stitch all the way around, okay? So half double crochet in each stitch around. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll rejoin towards the end of this round. Okay, coming up to the end of round two, just working our half double crochet still. And once again, in that second chain up, we're gonna join to close the round with a slip stitch. So insert the hook into that second chain up. Make sure you catch both of the loops on that and then bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to keep going with the brim. Just make it a little bit more substantial. It's a little bit narrow right now. Um, you can make your brim as wide as you want. We're going to keep going with a few more rounds. So when we return, we're going to finish up our brim and then we're going to flip the hat over, weave in some ends up here, and we're going to cinch this top shut so that we can have a hat. So right now it's still a tube, okay? So repeat round two for as tall and as wide as you want your brim, okay? I'm going to keep going. I'll give you a count of that when we return of how many rounds that I did. But you can make this as wide as you want it to be. You can make it very wide if you want a more fitted um, shape around the head just to kind of anchor it into place. Or if you don't need that much, you can make it narrower. So when we return, I'll show you how many I did. And then we'll keep going with the, the finishing up of our hat. All right, just working that last stitch of the round. And then once again, in that second chain up, we're gonna join with a slip stitch to close the round, okay? 
just like that. So we have a nice brim here. Now I worked a total of four rounds. That might be enough for you. You might want to keep going with it. It's totally up to you. You can try it on and see how it looks and if that's um, going to be enough. So um, I'm going to stick with the four rounds and what we're going to do once you're done is to cut the yarn and then to fasten off we're going to wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. Okay. The last thing we need to do, once you have your brim and your hat and everything seamed, we now need to do the top, okay? So let's spin this around here and we're going to turn it inside out. We have a few ends to weave before we cinch it, okay? So what we want to do is any ends that you see, we're going to weave in, okay? Um, we're going to get all these out of the way, out of the top, and then we have one down here at the bottom too where we um, did our brim. Actually, I have two, one where we started the brim of the hat and one where we finished the brim of the hat, okay? So the same thing, you'll want it to go in one direction, back in the other direction for each tail, and also make sure you stay in the same color area as well. So go ahead and weave all your ends in, and then we're going to cinch the top last. Okay, so before we cinch the top of our hat, we're just going to finish weaving our ends in. Now remember, if you have one color, just try to keep it in that same color area so that it blends in. Uh, you don't have, you know, like a bright green traveling through your, your purple or whatever. And then um, take care of the other two ends as well, or however many you have. Okay, once all those ends are woven in, you're going to grab a piece of yarn. I did about 24 inches or so, um, a matching piece. Any of these colors really match. Um, you're going to thread it and then figure out um, if it's unraveling a little bit. You might need to do a fresh cut or give it a little twist. But figure out how you want, um, or actually what side you want it to face out. So we're going to turn ours inside out and flip it back around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, kind of do a running stitch. Um, and that's just over, under, over, under, all the way around and then cinch it up. Super, super easy, okay? So I threaded my needle with a tail, a nice long tail. And the first stitch we do though, we're going to bring it almost all the way through and tie it on, okay? So pull it almost all the way through. And as you can see, my, my piece of yarn is pretty big. Um, it might be even too big, but that's okay. I'd rather be a little bit longer than way too short. Uh, we can always trim, okay? All right, so we're just going to take our yarn and just all along this edge here, we're just gonna go in and out. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect or perfectly spaced out. You can just kind of eyeball it and that's, that's sufficient enough, okay? You don't want it to obviously be sloppy. But as you can see, I'm taking it all along the edge here, just trying to get it evenly spaced out. And we're just going to do this all the way around our piece, just like that. And you can kind of turn it if you need to as you work, pulling it out a little bit if you need to. And you're just going to try and catch those, um, We as we know from before, those turning chains create big holes in the sides of our work. So you want to catch it um, below that if need be, because you don't want it to be a big hole in the top of your hat either, okay? We sort of experienced this when we did the brim down here earlier, okay? So I'm just going all around the edge, and we're going to just do this till we get to the beginning again. All right, so just go all the way around, all the way around. And here we are back where we started. So just pull the needle all the way through and kind of, guide it with your hand, give it a little bit of assistance. You don't want to pull it too hard because your yarn might snap, okay? But as you can see, as we're pulling, and we want to leave our tail in place because we're going to use that in a minute, but as you can see, as we're pulling this through, it's also cinching up our hat, okay? So just gently giving this a, a little tug, and then here we are. Just make sure it's snug down and nice and, and snug like that. And we're just going to tie this right together. Now, again, this is the inside of the hat, okay? So um, this will be up inside and you don't, you won't really see it, but you want to make sure it's still neat. It's still something you'll be wearing or gifting. Now, cut off some of this excess because there's no reason to pull that through, pull that through, pull that through, okay? So what we want to do is try to go back into the same color. And what I like to do when I'm weaving in ends 
is to kind of bring my hand up underneath like this um, so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. And we're just gonna go with our tail and just weave it in. And you can go in the other direction too if you wish. I'm a little less picky about the crown of a hat like this. If you have anything you need to trim, do that now. Um, but this is the up inside the hat. So sometimes I'll go back in the other direction. Sometimes I'll just take it through once. It's up to you what you like to do. All right, and we'll just take our, our end like that. Give it a little trim. And now we sort of have our big reveal. So you can turn it right side out. And I just love the way the top of that looks. It almost looks like a pinwheel. It's very pretty. If you have anything you need to kind of straighten out or tuck in or anything like that. But this um, yarn that we used is very silky and slouchy. I think it just makes like a really pretty, um, it's not like a middle of winter type hat. It's like a, almost like a um, anytime hat. Uh, so, cause it's, it has a nice silky feel and, and a nice lightweight feel. So our hat is complete and it looks great. If you find, if you, you know, come across any ends that you miss, go ahead and weave those in. But, you know, your head will kind of go up here and it has like a nice little slouch to it. So that is how you crochet the Snapdragon Crochet Slouch Hat. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.